Welcome to Data Shark Academy. In this lesson, let's run scoop import command to copy data from a relational table to SDFS. Here's a simple query to import a relational table called employees from MySQL database called scoop. Notice the warehouse directory parameter, which is used to define destination SDFS directory where the imported table will be saved. Remember, with warehouse directory, the destination table name will be same as the source table name in MySQL. In upcoming lessons, I will show you how to change the destination table name. But for now, let's run this command in scoop CLI and examine the results. So let's bring the terminal. Okay, so we are going to run the scoop import. All scoop import commands will start with scoop import, then backslash enter so this slash basically indicates that the command is continuing to the next line it's more readable that's why i'm doing it this way you can type the entire command in single line and you don't need to use this slashes okay so first parameter is connect to give the jdbc connection to your mysql database and this is something like this jdbc colon mysql colon sandbox HTTP dot hortonworks dot com and this is the host where our MySQL database is running and the database that I want to connect is scoop okay so that will be the last parameter there what will be the username of the MySQL so our user is root password is Hadoop and the table that we want to import is called employees uh, warehouse directory so on SDFS side we want to store it into a directory called scoop so inside this directory it will create a new directory for the table and it will be called employees and lastly we need the driver information so we are using JDBC driver so for our MySQL connection enter so as you can see we have number of split set to four so this is a scoop doing it on its own and internally it has set the number of mappers to four by default this is very common question asked in interviews also so by default scoop uses four mappers for all import commands and basically it divides the input data into four different mappers and each of the mapper will parallelly run the import process and when the data is imported then it would be dumped into a flat file on SDFS. So as you can see on the screen, we have four mappers. Each will have about 249 records and there are four mappers. Okay. So we imported about 1000 records. Before we go there, let me quickly explain what's going on here. So when scoop runs internally, it generates Java code. Okay. And this code basically is deployed on the SDFS and there it is run by the MapReduce engine. So you can see the code generation process started and this is the SQL command that will be used by this code. The class will be your table name dot Java. Uh, this is the code that is generated by scoop and this is packaged into a jar file. Okay, you see here. Now this is sent over to Hadoop and Hadoop is running this using MapReduce, okay? And when it runs the MapReduce process, it evaluates how much data there is in the source site. And uh, by default, it has four mappers. So it divides all the data into four different mappers. And each mapper will run its import process and store the results into one file. So since we have four mappers, we will have four different files on SDFS. So let's quickly take a look on Hadoop side. All 
all right so we have employees table created let's see the content of this so as i said there will be four different mappers so all these part m files are created by mappers so one mapper creates one file and we have four mappers so four files are created you can look at the content of one of these files let's put a head minus 10 so we just output 10 records not entire file all right so you can see first file has employees uh, starting with id 1 2 3 4 all that sequential if i change it to say second file then the records will 249 something yeah so 251 onwards records are in this file and so and so forth all right so try this command in your terminal and let me know if you have any questions uh, thanks for watching